First game ever played in 1895. Last time these two teams played here, so significant. It was number three against number eight. And Alabama roared to a 31-0 halftime lead. They wound up winning at 41-30. That was in 2008. Here's Adam Griffin with the kick. Reggie Davis way back deep in the end zone. And that's a touchback. Out of the gun. Right side caught by Mitchell. Stretches for the first down. I don't know. Nope. No, I don't think so. Gain of three. O.J. Howard is split wide right. They come to the near side. It's caught by Calvin Ridley, a true freshman. Robert Foster was the injured wide receiver. Ridley's come on. Jacob Gaines is a transfer from UAB at middle linebacker. They come to the near side, and that's enough to move the chain. Low ball. I think that ball squirted out. Well, Gaines thinks the Bulldogs have it. There's going to be a huddle first. Alabama yes. thinks Georgia has it as well. Well, Allie just talked to Nick Saban about turnovers. Well, that is the second interception of the ball game, equaling the number of incomplete passes Lambert has thrown. And that catch is made inside the 40. Terry Godwin, number five, gets the start. Henry, no. Tim Kimbrough, second big tackle he's made. There's J.K. Scott, All-American punter as a freshman a year ago. Not having that great of a year statistically. This one is high and very short. And a diving try by Isaiah McKenzie. He muffed it. Now, did he fall on it? He did. Georgia ball. He said it's the same style. Not obviously the same players, but same style. And he says he thinks he knows how to attack it. Third and five, four-man rush. Lambert in trouble. Tucks it, runs. He'll be way short of the first down. And one of the sideline chain gang guys is upended. Coker fakes the give. Wide open down the right side. That's Calvin Ridley, the freshman. He's loose and slips at the 29-yard line. Play action, Coker. Got a man open. Nice catch. Richard Mullaney, the senior transfer from Oregon State. Nice winder. Number 46 is on the field to the left. Henry up the middle. Fourth down. Well, in my humble opinion, Alabama got a little bit acute in that way. They've been successful when they've been knowing what they're going to do. They've been successful. 29 yards out. Alabama's first on the board, but not what they thought they might get out of this drive. Sony Michelle is now on the field. Lambert hands it to him. Nice spin. Wow. And again, what Alabama does as well, and all through Nick Saban's career as a defensive coach, set the edge. On third down, he appears to have it. Yep, the first first down of the game for Georgia. Yep. And, uh, but erratic today. First down and ten. Play fake. Goes deep. Malcolm Mitchell is there. Has it. First down in between two defenders. Second time they've gone for the home run. Malcolm Mitchell wide to the left. They're up to play bump and run. He's defended by Cyrus Jones. Lambert will take off. Yeah. Nice run. Aggressive again. We're going to take a, a closer look at uh, Hurricane Joaquin and its eventual track coming up in a minute and how it affects our weather in the coming days. Down one here. They hand it off to Chubb. Gets the line moving to the south. That's going to be a first down. Three to the right side. Four-man rush across the middle. Caught. No, no he didn't. It was stripped. 
Malcolm Mitchell. Marshall Morgan, long for the year, is 47. This attempt to tie it up is from 35 yards out. Perfect. There is a flag. Personal foul. Ruffin to snap him. Defense number nine. They give up the 35-yard tying field goal. They hand it off. Michelle with a stick on and a double team on the tackle. Yeah, but Alabama's going to send it back with a holding on Durant, uh, Darren Payne, number 94 that time. Chubb is back on the field. Lambert chased by Reed. Oh, out of his hand. hand. Loose ball. Still loose. Georgia gets it. Greg Pike, the right guard. Michelle comes near side. Lambert looks that way. Now they try to set up a screen oh, pass. Messed up from the beginning. Malcolm Mitchell didn't know where to line up. They rush three, drop eight. Lambert steps up. He'll keep it. Rolls out. Now he's got. Oh, he got it. Oh, the my. catch is made by Terry Godwin. I wondered the timeout that there wasn't a look that Coach Rick didn't want a fake field goal called. And that's why he took the timeout. Here's the kick. Well, it took him a long, long time. Yeah, but it was an impressive stop by the Alabama defense. Grayson Lambert had that big third down throw. Kenyon Drake gets the handoff, follows the lead block into the secondary. Nice run. Is it a play again? Wow. Picks his way, moves around, different style. They were together at the University of Alabama. Then Jeremy Pruitt took the hit, uh, defensive coordinator job. Here's the third down play at Florida State. He was there for one year, and he's now in his second season under Mark Richt. Play action. Coker under some pressure. Evades the tackle. Finds a receiver. That's Calvin Ridley with another big catch. This one on first down. Coker backs up. Got him open down the right side. Left side. It's Richard Mullaney. Number 16. I have to put that guy under oath before I believe that one. <laughs> up the middle. Huge. Henry, untouched, touchdown, Alabama Crimson Tide. She got the spot because... Yeah! That's dropped. Well defended. Alabama goes a hurry up on third and medium. Third and six, here's Coker. Oh, he got it! Beautiful. Our Darius oh, Stewart. He dropped it. Oh, he did. He looked like he had possession. Dominic Sanders. Yes. Three wides to the right, including the tight end. And the pocket breaks down. The pass. Oh, my it's goodness. It's going to hurt. Reggie yeah. Ragland. Oh, dear. And it was a clean hit. Oh, they come after it. They blocked it. Touchdown, Alabama. Minka Fitzpatrick, number 29. Lambert batted backwards. Jonathan Allen got his hands up and knocked this one down. Play action. Coker looks deep into double coverage. He's got a man wide open. It's Calvin Ridley, and it's another touchdown for Alabama. You knew it was coming. Once Alabama gets in the offense rolling, they love to go deep. They've been doing it for eight years, but once they started getting successful at it, you knew it was going to be sooner or later Ridley was going to go deep. His shot. Got a first down. Plus, that's why they love him in Georgia. He's now missed seven of his last eight. And that one is incomplete. Eight of his last nine. Now he's guessing on that one. He did not have the player.
Henry. But he said it'd be easy. Well, he's going to keep it conservative. He'll send him the shell. He does break loose and uh, out to the 39 yard line. Yeah, and Georgia will uh, ground the ball. They'll spike it here to get a huddled play. Malcolm Mitchell near side. Three wides to the right. Four man rush, just bull rush, and they got him. Oh, he gets away, but not very far. Oh, John Theus. First team all SEC preseason got run over that time. That's the end of that. Coker back. Throws it at the feet of Aaron Davis. It'll be fourth down. Gary, first half trends. But next week's game is all about the East. If Georgia runs the table after this game, they could face Alabama or whoever else represents the West. Right. So this might have to do something about next week as well. Georgia is at Tennessee next oh, yeah. week. Yeah, and this one's right. intercepted. Picked off by Eddie Jackson. Jackson still running. Looks for a block. Gets it. To the five. Touchdown, Alabama. Here's the next four plays. Chubb 11, Chubb 13, Chubb 11, play action pass, Chubb 9 for a touchdown. He's the leader. He's the guy they need to win in Tennessee. At third and two, he's going to be denied the first down. You, you, you mean in, in your life? life. Yeah. 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 Certainly that bounce off the helmet was uh, an injury last night. Here's Cyrus Jones. Uh oh, that's oh, going to be 15. Watch out. That's going to be 15 yards. At the end of the punt return. We all make mistakes. Okay. <laughs> I do too, but this time First they made down. the wrong call. Play oh, action. Got our Darius Stewart wide open. Oh, does he ever. My goodness, at the 20. At the 15, grand coverage by Georgia. It was actually the same play that Alabama hit the touchdown on. Crossing route, and Darius Stewart takes a big chunk out of the yardage. Blitz threatened, handoff, Henry going left. And another flag. Yes, there is. This Georgia team is very frustrated right now. And Henry in the backfield. Play action, Coker. Strolls in untouched. It's all Alabama all day. Yeah, he's emerging, isn't he? Yes. They, they suffered through Kyle Allen a year ago as a true freshman, and now he's emerging as a potential All-SEC quarterback. Here's Chubb. The weakness of that defense is when you play the scrambling quarterback, they don't get that pass rush. They don't have the speed from that position. Ramsey caught and dropped by Minka Fitzpatrick, number 29, who is having a breakout game. Yeah, he's a, a five-star recruit. Third down eight. Missouri won today yep. in South Carolina. They did. Leonard Floyd and Kenyon Drake oh somehow. Oh, dear. He didn't get a first down, but he showed the ability he has as an athlete. In 07, they won at Alabama and then lost to Tennessee two weeks later. That perception is not going to be, oh my gosh. What a catch, Malcolm Mitchell. Very dangerous throw, but he put it in the one spot that Mitchell could adjust to. His effort has been outstanding. His routes have been outstanding. He may be Georgia's best player. Here's the toss. This is Sonny Michelle. Breaks a tackle. Down the sideline. Carries an Alabama defender, Eddie Jackson, for an extra five yards. That you try to throw quick against them. And when you throw short, but the other is they use the bull rush and they have an opportunity to see when the quarterback's going to throw. Ramsey into the corner. Good coverage. Wow. Intercepted. Wow. wow.
Here's Derrick Henry, stiff arm on Leonard Floyd. Mauger comes up and makes the tackle. That's unbelievable. Leonard Fournette, Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, but they went on a run. Could that lost Ole Miss spur on another run? Here's the handoff. It's Henry. Nice. Even nicer. There's a lot of Alabama people wanting to know why Alabama doesn't run the ball like that. Reasonable. One more day. Georgia's got the ball. Jake Canis has got it. Yes, indeed. So they got Lambert back in the game here. Well, Bryce Ramsey threw two interceptions. Up the middle. Oh, dear. Wow. Yeah. Gino Matias Smith. Yes, yeah, part of a slip, though. Gary mentioned last week he had 30 some at the halftime and then exploded. And that might be enough for a first down. Let's go to Adam Zucker in our New York studio for an Advocare update. You have to bring a balanced attack to be in. And there's another fumble snap. And there's a new guy that has a belt. Yep. Pass it around. Texas A&M has, I think, the best schedule in the, in the SEC West this year with the home games at the right time. There's Henry trying to get around the left side. He does not for very much. Then they have an off week, and then we'll be there. Well, we might be there. Then LSU comes to town. There's nothing fancy about Georgia. They come right at you, and if they couldn't start this, stop this fade, this type of a team, when could they? And there he goes. Here's Chubb, and he's going to go over 100 for the 13th consecutive game. Congratulations, Nick Chubb. 83 yards. Coker has had a terrific game. He's 11 of 14. <laughs> Play action. Deep right side, man. Open for the moment. The pass is a little too far to the right. Watch every play of the last two years of him as offensive coordinator for the St. Louis Card St. Louis Rams. I'm some sorry. Of, some of us. <laughs> St. Louis Rams. Well, you got baseball in your mind. I understand. Uh oh, Not from Mitchell, Sam. Oh boy. He wound up to heave it, and Mitchell was well covered downfield. Derrick Henry has 25 rush attempts now, and you wonder when you want to get him out of the football mm -hmm. game. How to football hit for Alabama. Here's Henry. <laughs> Not yet. Nope. Does not get the block. Ridley I mean, forgot this, about that part yeah, of it. Well, basically, this game is over. What I'm thinking more is it's a long season. As Butch Jones found out, you know, I was like, okay, kick an extra point. And all of a sudden, the end of the game is like, what? Well, they hold Damian Harris. Sterling Bailey made the stop. Because he has not been, you know, usually we do a game and Leonard Floyd's all over. Yes. Play action. Rush coming. Pass is incomplete. He'll go over on downs. Intended for O.J. Howard. But, of course, we all remember 2012 when they faced this Alabama team and came uh, within a tip pass of taking the lead. There's another tip pass. Another speaking batted of. ball. Yep. Yeah. What's that? The, maybe the fourth I think it game? is the fourth, yes. On first down 10, we have 7.06 remaining. Kenyon Drake is in the backfield. Gets the toss. Good night. Jordan Jenkins, that's one of the first times we called his name today. The one worry about Jake Coker from the coaching staff with Alabama is he's not played a lot of football in his career. You know, he's been on teams, but he's not played. Remember the message that Nick gave Alley starting the second half. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 37, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Second down, six. Play action. Yeah, please. And let's check in with Adam Zucker. Well, they lost to Oklahoma at home with a 17-3 lead. They lost. Plays. Coker running again. You think it's another missed handoff? Nope. That one was called. Okay. My next question would be, why? Fourth and five. It will go over on downs to the Georgia Bulldogs. 
You bring in the backup guy who you really like. He goes one for six with two interceptions. I'm wondering if Fatal Bata. We'll go back to New York for the Dodge post game show on this week five of the 2015 college football season. Second down and six here. And they've got to win the next two weeks. I mean, they don't really have a bye for three more weeks to make it. So they're going to have to make, if they want to make changes, they're going to have to, they're going to, have to make them on the fly. As he told Ali at halftime, Mark Rick did, that we all got beat here. Lambert intercepted. New belt. Picked off by Ronnie Harrison. He's looking for Bart. Oh, my goodness, that looked like a wrestling hole. Greg Pike. But Harrison with the interception and Lambert very slow. Uh oh. And it's taken him a year to, you know, he's had that problem. It took him a year to get acclimated to this thing. And he might be the next big one. Well, that's going to do it. Jacob Coker, 11 of 16 for 190. Oh, you see that? Nick Saban go over and shake the hand of his quarterback. Did he find one? I think the answer was yes.